It's 10.03, April the 11th, 2015, Saturday morning. Going to Terry Hershey Park, specifically the loop with Sandy, my pup. They have been a while. I only have the video on in case we're in the water back it's a good day to call me. I'll turn it off and get past Hayes Road here. Probably. Maybe not. Park. 10 a.m. April 11, 2015. We're at Terry Hershey Park. We're going to do the trade part of the trade loop and back, and that's all. Uh, Sandy has never done a cherry loop. Cherry loop, cherry blossom loop, whatever it's called. Something like that. Come on. Come on, let's go. Bunch of new smells, huh? Come on. There's Sandy. The focus is not on Sandy, it's on the park, so... You'll have a voiceover <coughs> for Sandy, and then I'll uh, mainly point at stuff in the park. It's going to be a short video, probably 30 minutes. Total. There's Buffalo Bio. See it? Sandy, say. You. No, no, you, you. There's a part of the off-road trail. No, this way, you, go down here. Should have worn my hiking shoes, would have gone down there, but it's muddy. Wrong shoes for that. Yep. Anyway, there's the bio again. Come on. <laughs> There's a family with a couple of kids. Enjoying the park today too. Yep. It's gonna be a good test for Sandy. A lot of people around here. <laughs> Come on, Candy. Let's go. You. I hope she's a tough character with some with some people. Yeah, at home. 
making YouTube video. <laughs> Let's go. Nice house over there. Would love to have that back on. That's beautiful. I'd be out here all the time. I wouldn't be in the house. Come on. Go. Okay. There's a nice pup. Yeah, there's a nice pup. Howdy. <laughs> no, can't go play with the pup. Let's go. Well, it's a nice morning to be walking in the park, Sandy. I don't think it's going to be like this later. Come on, Sandy. Go around. Come on. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> you? Oh, look, a swing. How'd that get there? I wonder if that's off right. <laughs> stay, stay. 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 No, stay. All right, stay. Got two runners. No, you can't chase them. No. <laughs> you can't chase her either. No. Okay, let's go. Hmm. Try to snag that webbing when you get back. Come on, Sandy. I don't know if we'll do the whole cherry loop. Cherry loop goes all the way up to the uh, Briar Forest. Actually, it goes past Briar Forest to the other side. So the, just the time thing here, more than anything. A little outing in the park this morning. Saturday and weekend are not good. There's all kinds of people out here. Friday morning would be better. Monday morning even better than that. Oh look, honeysuckle. Yeah. Honeysuckle. See that right there in the middle? That white? Over here. Yeah, that's honeysuckle. That is your pond. Right there in front of me. That has a stimulant in it and has been used as a caffeine substitute by Native Americans and others. More honeysuckle. Come on. Nice pine. No, not so nice. And chopped on.
Yo pond. More yo pond. Lots of yo pond around here. It's kind of native of the area. I need to give me some. Go on the patio. It's a, actually a holly, yo pond holly. This way, handy heel. Handy, should have worn my hiking shoes or boots otherwise. <clears throat> Come on. Wouldn't want them to get them muddy, but. Candy. I think you know the difference between the park and home. You're not nearly as uh, aggressive as you are near the house. We'll see. The video is not too shaky. You need to put it on a tripod and get you less shaky. Hmm, I wonder if that hiking stick of mine has a top that I can screw it onto. Here's the bio. Look at that bio right there in the middle. You can tell we've gotten rain. It's running pretty good. I wonder what it's going to look like next weekend if it rains all week. Let's go. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Sandy, heel. Heel, heel. No touch the water. No touch the water. This side of the park doesn't show all the wildfires. This is all green. Jungle-y like. East Texas type. Which is good. Wildfires go out and you open more. I'll try to get some of those next week. I don't want to go on too long. This is an experiment. More honeysuckle. Well, I'll tell you, upon honeysuckle and other maybe East Texas, Texas plants, weeds. Come on. Go. Mmm, ant trail. Beautiful. I can choose if it'll let me do that. 
Okay, got another runner. I'll say the short leash here. And a mud runner. Trail runner. <laughs> okay, let's go. That's a good shot of the bio. I don't know if that yellow streak showed up into the video or not, but that was a bicycle from the other side on the bike trail. Come on, Candy, let's go. We're almost at the end of our video here. The end of the video is coming up. Another minute and a half. And I'm going to uh, start another one. Or 15 minutes, 16 plus minute segments. Come on. That's all the camera will do at once. I think uh, two gigabytes at a time. No matter how much space you have. Anyway, theoretically, I could do a whole hour, but in <clears throat> four segments. Yeah, okay, Sandy, we're going to walk around the perimeter of this and head back. Yeah. And you can sniff the other side. A lot of mud here. Come on, let me step across the trail here. And okay, it's 10:27 a.m., April 11th, 2015, Saturday morning. I'm going to continue on with the video. Well, Sandy. This is really and truly an urban, I guess you could say a really suburban, suburban park. Because there are neighborhoods that <clears throat> surround it and that park runs through. Lots of them. <laughs> but it's a nice place to walk and view wild plants. Now, this is honeysuckle. Watch. Sandy say, watch what happens when I pull it out here. Pull that stamen out. Anyway, that, I don't think that's honeysuckle, that's something else. But in any case, hopefully it won't kill me. <laughs> Come on, Sandy. Honeysuckle will have a little drop of honey at the end of it when you pull it out. Come on. Save our forest. Army Corps engineer in the county want to put retention pond all in this area and dig them all out. The forest is. And there's a big movement to try to stop that. So far it's stopped it. But it does remain open. It is county property, and the bio itself is Corps of Engineers' responsibility, so anyway, hopefully the detention ponds can be built in a different area. Okay, not where this nice uh, park is. No, no, stay, stay, can't chase the bicycle, no, okay, now let's get a shot of the sign here, now the bicycle's going by, that's 
where we are. Danny. It's here. Okay. That's the trail we're heading right into. We just came from there, we're going back. Let's go over here, huh? This part of the trail is kind of a gravelly, gravelly, cliche trail. I don't particularly like to like on, walk on it because I end up getting socks in my shoes. But anyway. hmm, over here. See what I mean? Gravelly. It's run up the briar forest like that and then across to the other side. Same kind of trail. Okay. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Tanny. Yeah, there's people behind us and there's bicycles in front. Just go over here on the left. I don't know. There you go. Good girl. Good job. Good puppy. Come on. Yeah, there's people back there. They're going to catch up with us in a minute. Come on, get up here. It's okay. You. Hey, look. Somebody's been digging. No, Sandy. No. No? Yeah. Yeah, somebody been digging? Probably a squirrel. Good girl, Annie. Good job. In amongst all these wild things with the pollen and all that, make my nose run. That's okay, I don't care. Yeah. There's the kiddos again. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Like I said, this video is about the park, not the people. Although there's a lot of people out here, but not nearly as many as will be later. This is nice hemp. It's going to be raining later. I don't know how many people, well, it's supposed to be raining later today. I don't know how many people will be out here. <coughs> stay, stay, stay. Okay, good girl. Good girl. Mandy missed it. <laughs> you saw that one, huh? Come on, let's go. 
saw that squirrel, did you? Or whatever it was. Could have been a bird crawling. No, I didn't even see it that well. I just saw the movement. He saw it though. Sandy, no. No. Wrong side. Over here. Heel. 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 Sandy is a year old now. Doing pretty good. So I have some training to go. Kind of training I do, casual and gradual. It takes them a while <clears throat> to get everything down right. But like casual and gradual, not intense. There's more digging. And he just stepped in it. A lot of digging over there. There's all kinds of animals that dig. Possums, coons, rabbits, squirrels. I don't think there's any wild pig, boar in this area, wild pigs of any kind. You never know. They dig like crazy. They'd be carrying the this place up. It's alright. Over here. Over here. Good girl. Good girl. Good job. No. No. Stay. Howdy. No. Good girl. Good job. Now we're walking back to the car <clears throat> and we're on the opposite side of the trail from the bio. So, no bio here. Lots of good trees though. God, I hate to be a <clears throat> person had to speak with somebody when I'm out walking in the park. The park is for turning off stuff. Well, firewood. <laughs> I didn't see that. Also, I was swinging around here somewhere.
No. Can't chase the bicycle. No. You. You. Well, three minutes left on this. Well, we'll make it back to the car by then. We might. There's a grapevine. Right there. Nice day. It's around 70, I think. All I have is short pants, <coughs> moisture wicking polyester t shirt. And I have a nylon windbreaker on that's uh, getting kind of on the warm side. But we do have a chance of rain today. I you never know when the rain is going to hit. Even though I looked at the radar and it seemed to be a ways off. As the day gets warmer, it be easier, the better chance the rain will get here. So the windbreaker is uh, water resistant. Got a water repellent coating on it. And a hood. And the hat I'm wearing is water, waterproof, water repellent. So I'm not too worried about anything getting wet. I don't have my uh, survival pack with me. But since I'm only a few minutes away from the car, I decided I probably didn't need it. And I have some survival gear with me, including my... Uh, survival one of my survival knives now well, we're back in the parking lot there's the car come on Sandy right there white van white sedan and then the silvery Avalon which is what I'm driving and this is your last chance to take a pee we're going home now. We're going to get in the car. Yeah. Huh. Oh, you saw a squirrel, did you? Yes, the MWM3. That's what that white sedan is. And with that, we're turning off the video. AM, Saturday morning, April the 11th, 2015. We're heading back to the house after our park walk. Lady stretching. Guess if you do some serious jogging or running or walking or whatever, you probably need to do that. I never do that. I usually just start slow. In that direction, I think I saw blue lights. I mean, some faint, funky headlights. See, mm, cars, cars coming. One, two, three, and there's more lights. Making a U-turn. Yeah, I can make it. Good, good show. Nobody coming. Hard to tell sometimes. Quite sandy, hard to tell. Mmm, Shippies Donuts. Bar Bench Drive and Ashford Parkway. That's very 
Ashburn. Moore's Pizza, Lunch Buffet, six ninety nine. dollars Slumberger, big oil services company. Houston, box of oil service company in here. This town, so far, they're doing fair in the downturn of the oil prices, but not really great like they were doing a year ago, year and a half ago. There is Kroger. That's where I generally go shopping. I like that. signal or not. I may have to wait for another whole cycle. I hope not. This is a long light here. Good. Got it. Burger. They advertise gasoline at two dollars and fifteen cents a gallon. I see if you have their affinity card, Kroger. Green light. You know, let's see how fast we're going. It says we're going 32 miles an hour, 31 out of there off of the gas. Cherry Loop that I was speaking about earlier. This is where it crosses Briar Forest. And there are two walk paths here. You're supposed to stop the pedestrians. And they're crossing here. I understand that that was put in because there's a blind person that likes to use park. So Get those two crossways here. I uh, know, kind of boring driving down the road. Not a lot to see or do, just traffic, houses, trees. You never know. Take a trash truck going about its business, wherever it may be headed to. I would never live on the street. <coughs> I'd never live in a house that was on a street like this. That is, we have to back into or pull out up from your driveway right on the street like this. True, the speed limit's 35, but there's a lot of traffic around the bicycle. Just six minutes, ten seconds. Not a long drive from here to there. I would say two to three miles. I know the Kroger is two miles from the house, so you make the right turn up at the next intersection and right up to the park entrance. I would add another mile. Easy to that. I have walked that before. My best guess, time wise, and using my walk map, whatever it's called on the internet, uh, I guess I made it about six miles, ten kilometers. Which is a fair walk. 
smoke the break in the middle, about 15 minute break, takes me about three hours to do that. So as you can see with the break, that makes me average about two miles an hour. If you faster, you can do quicker, obviously. Probably doing two hours easy. Without much of a effort. That's three miles an hour. You can walk two to three on the average. And if you push it, you got four or five if you really push it. An hour. This is a subdivision where I live. On the right. And I'm going to be turning into my driveway, so to speak, at least to the back of my house, to the garage, but I'm getting thrown over by a car, I have a signal on, a brake, and everything, they're out and over me. <laughs> and we're here almost, Sandy, with my neighbor's SUV. There goes the garage and the video. We're going off right now, garage up.